Good day, listeners from all around the world. This is your host, James Jordan. And I am your other host. It, not second host, co-host. Michael Wallace. Michael <laughs> Wallace. Just Michael. It's Michael Wallace. Just Michael Wallace. I'm Just so. Wallace. I mean, I'm. I worry about the details. And we're uh, coming at you for uh, another episode of the Wide World of Motorsports podcast, recorded for the week of June twelfth, twenty twenty two, and this is episode sixteen of season wow. five. Wow! Every wow. episode, every episode, it's like, wow! <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm amazing. Um, it was a little golf. Amazing, fun. like, like we're always like, ah, oh, well, we didn't even probably make it to this many episodes last year. Hmm. Oh, I don't. How many did we make last year? Not this many. I don't have I it up thought. on this computer, but it's getting close. I think we got it to twenty-one. We got the twenty-one episodes last season, so wow. we're getting there. We're going. We're we're on the steam. We're we're on we're a steam train coming at you. We're we're actually a steam roller. We're, yeah, a steam engine, a steam vehicle. Because we're wide world of motorsports, like right? Wide world like of motors- a boat. I know you're going with this. Um, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. And we're go we're we're gonna we're gonna give you a hint of to one of our radio stations that we're broadcasted on. Boat is the hint. We'll get to that in a second. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, we're coming at you on vo- multiple platforms, and especially on CKMS one hundred two point seven Radio Waterloo monthly on the Waterloo Region podcast hour. And CFMH 107.3 local FM on Saturdays at 1 p.m. And um, Performance Motorsports Network on your smart device. Just pull oh, up. people are enjoying the up. show. Check Very out. Pe- yeah, we'll check out, uh, check out all of them on social media. But specifically, yeah, we were just saying before the show, wouldn't it be cool? Um, and because I think pi- like for people out there that are know what pirate radio was back in the day, mm-hmm. you know, it was like in the sixties or seventies or whatever. Um, in UK, certain music wasn't allowed to be played, so there was a Radio Caroline was a as a ship offshore that mm-hmm. transmitted band music, like rock, <laughs> like rock music, basically, like punk or whatever loud, rock and roll, right roll and and uh they did it from a boat and djs were broadcasting on a boat and <laughs> so that would be really cool if at some point and if someone out there in uh saint john in um new brunswick is listening and they would love to let us go on their boat you would have to come quite a ways to get to get us though because i'm you have to come <laughs> get us how that's possible isn't it you could you, there's that's I think there's a way oh, yeah. through all the the canals and stuff. I yep. it's been a while, folks, it's since I've been in Canadian geography, my favorite class, but it's been yeah, a while though, folks. With, uh, Don't mind me. And but come get us on your boat. Like, let's like let's broadcast the WOMS all the way up on that eighteen week trip. <laughs> we'd be like yeah, the, we'd be like sailors coming out there. That'd be sweet. Uh, yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> coming up Just come on down the, the river, <laughs> chilling on our boat, the Wom's boat. What kind of boat do you think it looked like? Our boat? Yeah. Oh, probably not very good. Rusty, definitely rusty. Could get a cheap one off of. I sometimes look on Facebook Marketplace and I'll see a boat. So maybe we have we'd to have look this, into a WAMS boat. We'd have still this motorsports stock of boats, <laughs> right? <laughs> or get a Winnebago, like and just rec- get a recording van too. That'd be really cool. But there's so many ways we can come at you. You just if you want to, you know, you know how you know how you can help us out through our website. <laughs> Your favorite Wallace. What's uh, yeah? 
sorry. Yes. The website. I lost my train of thought. The website, my favorite. Yeah. I mean, I don't think there's enough words in it. Probably could add a few more symbols. But uh, you know how we can change it. You know how we can change it. I need to say how we can I mean, change you know, it. You need to change it. Wide World of Motorsports at gmail.com. Send us an email. Uh, we'd love to. Hey, you know, there's we 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 all this time here, we could talk mm-hmm. about your your stuff, your 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 brand, whatever. Uh, love to love to reach out to you. And hey, um, on our website though at the Wide World of Motorsports Podcast dot WordPress dot com, lots of great stuff there. Mm-hmm. Uh, past podcasts, some good some good stuff. We sit down and we think words we think of good words to put up on our we there's some good stuff up there guys and, and gals and others and the peeps out there um there's yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of good readings on our website yeah so i've been posted in a little stuff. bit i've been a little busy with work so i'm trying to get we get do what we can a few things. do what we can mm-hmm. um yeah and our Facebook though, Facebook is the best though, you know. You can't go wrong with the Facebook. No, Facebook can, number one. Yeah, at the WWOMS. That's really the. You know, that's where you reach out. You can talk to us right there. Um, got a lot of. We love our followers. The ones that, the few that we have that get, always like all, all our stuff. Um, but yeah, so. And Twitter and Instagram, we're we're on the Insta, and uh, we're figure Wallace is getting on the Twitter. I, I, you're you're getting some Twitter action in. Once in a while, Once he's getting while. out there, <laughs> ruffling some feathers. No, um, and throwing the bows. <laughs> Canadian reference. And um, other than, yeah, other than that, on your favorite anchor. Oh, I love Anchor. Has anybody called in yet? See, remember we talked about that this thing. There's a message sure. thing on our yeah, yeah on somewhere Anchor. somewhere in the info thing. There's a link to Anchor where you can leave. I think you could leave a message, and well, we can put it on the show. Message. Yeah, yeah. We f- I forgot about that. We got to actually try to to push that out there. So we look on the look on the the info if you're listening to on us on Spotify. App podcast and I, and if you are the first two messages, <laughs> right? I I will read whatever you say. <laughs> I will let it play. I don't care what it says. We'll let it play. It gets us canceled. Just don't get us. That's the one rule. Don't get us canceled. Don't get us canceled. I will read anything as long as you don't get us canceled. Let um, it play. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm. T- that'd be great. Um, but it, like, so if you're us, you could be on the the spots, the apps, the googs. You could be on all sorts of these uh, these platforms listening to us on uh, well, the good old podcast world. So oh. If we ever get a, if we ever get a Wams vehicle, is it going to be a Pacer then from Wayne's World? Go go back or some, eh? Yeah, <laughs> have an eight track player like in it. In, um, yeah, or I just watched. I'd never watched it before with my kids. Good Burger. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, movie? it's a good one. Yeah, we get a car like that with the big burger on the front of it. We just take the burger off. We could put our faces on it. <laughs> uh, your, uh, uh, there, there's a Wom's vehicle somewhere down the line. But hey, yeah, you know, if you're, I, I'm welcoming. We're welcoming everyone from all over, uh, all over streaming platforms and on the FM and. Um, wherever else there's lots there's lots um, so welcome and YouTube. hey uh, it's going to be at least you know coming up there's, there's some break in racing um, at least for a couple weeks for our for what we're doing locally um, I'm sure there's lots of other races going on that we're not covering but you're you're gonna be able to go hang out this weekend, at uh, yeah. You're gonna be able to get some in, locally. 
Hopefully, yeah. Weather cooperating. I'm I'm going up to Peter. Yeah, weather for once. Um, with my dad to watch the APC late model series compete there. Uh, very excited. I love Peterborough. I've been to Peterborough, Peterborough many times. Did a few of their thanks, whatever their Thanksgiving thing is they do on that weekend. I've done that before a few times. So a turkey jerky. And, I don't know. Uh, and uh, so APC hit hitting there for their series this year. I'm not sure how many actually. I should have it pulled up. I'm not sure how many laps the race is going to be, but. Uh, it's going to be a good race. No, no doubt about it. I'm yeah, sure. <clears throat> it'd be nice to get back into the, uh, cause yeah, yeah, I see you're pulling some stuff up. It, it, is there's there always, an entry list there's it? always good racing at, it's kind of like, Peter bro. And an APC. It's a bit like show air. I think you kind of get the same. It's a bit of a bull ring. So, um, if anybody, if people don't know what, Peterborough is and happen to watch Chaudière. It's a bit like that, although Peterborough is more of a, a D shaped, a capital D, obviously. Itinerary Chaudière. soon is the uh, is the is that's it. Itinerary soon. That's the only so info. We should see, we should see <laughs> you know, um, some WAMS alum, Kyle Steckley, running the twenty two for or the 20, 24 or twenty two this year. Twenty. Two. I always get it mixed up because he ran the 24 and now he runs the 22. That's right. Well, <clears throat> uh, for going, yeah, I mean, I get, get, getting was. over to uh, obviously on Father's Day re- weekend to watch some racing, you know, nothing beats that. You, you'll be able to have a good weekend coming yep. up and it'll be a good race it's always a good race there they always run Kyle Steckley's 22 22 yeah. I always get it. he ran Jared Fitzpatrick uh, 84 that, that, that was the uh, and uh, Andrew uh, Gressel to finish off the mm. podium at the uh, Flamborough last round there so, yeah. so you'll be that's some some a little I'll bit there quick quick super stock series Lane Zardo in the 36 uh uh, Garrett Tiersma in the 17 and Roy Wilkie in the 33. There, uh, that was the podium for that race. So you'll be you'll be seeing a couple. I don't know if Quick 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 usually follows ABC. I don't know if they're going to yes, Peterborough. Yeah, so you'll, there. you'll be in for a good show, no doubt, and for some good I'm local yeah. racing in Southern Ontario and um, support local. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a, a while for. I mean, you know, that's what's going to be good. That's what's going to be for us uh, for the next little while, because uh, the the big the big hot show series uh, heads off out east to um, to Newfoundland yeah. to the Rock for the first time. That's going to be really cool, and, um, and yeah, and obviously that's going to be going into what we're going to be talking about next. Uh, but yeah, for for us and for the the local racing stuff, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, Honda Indy, I'm really looking forward to, obviously. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that, too. That's always a good stop on for IndyCar, and it's all, you know, since they haven't been here for two years. So that's, that's when Pinty's, really will, nice. Pinty's will be back Pinty's for that back. And, and the Nush weekend, uh, so. But for the, yeah, in the NASCAR Pinty series this past weekend, uh, auto uh, auto drum show here. It was good. To, um, it was good to see racing return there after a couple of years. Beautiful area. Oh, yeah, I saw some, some pictures on social media, uh, nice. especially from Adam Ross. He was posting some uh, some good stuff there. And um, I yeah, love that bridge it's cool. Going over the paddock. cool track. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's there's some interesting get, stuff there. They have a. And I couldn't do it, man. I would have to find. I don't know. I'm weird. I, I could not pee in that area, folks. There's there's pictures of the track. Um. Well, yeah. So there's pictures of the tr- of at, at track. Of there's a there's like a outdoor. Uh, that's the that's the place where you pee. If you're 
you know, wanting to pee. It's like, uh, it's literally outside and it's uh, urinals attached to the wall outside. And one year mm-hmm. there was a NASCAR Pinty's merchandise hauler parked like within peeing distance. <clears throat> so that's awkward. That's tough. You know, that's... I don't know. I, w- I would have to find another place, folks. I don't know if I could do that. Anyway, yeah, though, you know, other than that, one. that place looks really cool. My favorite part about Chaudier, or Chaud- sorry, Chaudier, what, it's, what the heck? Am I just, like, uh, not good at French? Chaudier, Chaudier. Let's just get this hey, off the table. I'm English. Chaudier. Maybe. I'm going to start saying Chaudier. That's <laughs> what so, so they said in the broadcast. Green walls, that, man, those yeah. are sick. And you can tell they just spray. They can tell they just painted it because, um, like you could, yeah, you could tell they just did it. Like part of the ground had a some green. It's like it's like they just drove past with like a a big mm. sprayer and just sprayed it with. I love that pigment too. I wonder what kind of green that is. And just like zzz, just spray around it. Um, and if people don't know what it is, look it up on on social media. It's really. Really cool track with the pits outside the track, too. You know, I always like yeah. a track like that, too, where, you know, that that's typical of a lot of short tracks, especially down in the States, those small mm-hmm. hometown tracks. And it's not always necessarily typical, but, you know, you see it a lot. And, hey, it's, you know, we, we got, it shows that, especially in Quebec, you know, you don't even think about that, you know, not only that it, in Canada we take it, we take our stock car racing on, on short track seriously, but we, you know, the French in Quebec, man, they don't screw around. No, um, they don't. GMPIA, no screw around, you know, uh, they had some There's, stuff to battle through with it. Yeah. And, which is cool too. We'll get to that at the, uh, at the end of the show too, track house, but yeah, you know, yeah, track. Yeah. Um, that is so cool. Yeah, I would compare it to that. That's a good comparison for uh, some of our fans down south. With Andrew Ranger and Mark Antoine Cameron finding home, finding a new home, and they found it. And, you know, there was no doubt after a certain amount of time um, during this race that you saw, like, Andrew Andrew was going to have to, like, this was, this was, you know, his race. He was going, he had, he had a, he probably maybe had the best car and the, him going back to the, uh, from the back to the front during, in, in that, in that race, fun mm-hmm. to watch on uh, flow racing, great entertain great entertainment. Uh, I love these racers, you know, seeing Mac, uh, DJ up there, um, you know, Gary Clute. In, in seventh place, you know, uh, you know, just yeah, just to touch, just to scratch the surface there, but yeah, you know, but it, you know, you know, it just say, yeah, you got it, you gotta admit though, you know, GM Pi hats off, Pi A. Why do I, yeah, uh, the team, I don't think there's any doubt that the team was going to be strong. Uh, you know, you have Andrew Ranger, a champion, you have. Mac, who is really good behind the wheel, and we saw that at the beginning of the year. At, at well, just imagine <laughs> having um, Caden Lapsevich as your as your crew chief. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a, uh, clearly it's a good combo, and and I know Caden. I don't know if he's on his how many more races he's crew chiefing for him if he's doing any more for him this year, but, um, that clearly was a good, uh, a good pairing. I don't think there was any doubt that the team was going to get a win. And I, you know, I didn't know who was going to get it first to be completely honest at the beginning of the year. I would have said that Mac would probably get the win before Andrew. Cause Mac just seemed to be a little bit better, but Andrew, Andrew fell right back into form. You know, he led 44 laps, not the most, but uh, their team led the most laps. Uh, it's great. 
they're both they're both there. I'd say that that Mac is pretty lucky to to get second uh, with that caution right at the very end there. I think DJ was gonna probably get him going into three and four and complete it out of four. So that that was really nice, but uh, you know, a one-two in the third race of the season is pretty big for a for a brand new team like that, uh, wouldn't you say? Yeah, and it's good. It was again, it was good to watch at home, and and I bet in the Track stands too. Great. Pack, pack, like it looked packed. Like just yep. imagine the just imagine what it was like for them to see racing again um because obviously during the pandemic it was difficult them to for them to be able to go there so they haven't been able to race there since 2019 and uh, just as like how we felt at um just or how you felt at sunset how i felt at uh ctmp um yep. just met you know they they got to feel that too so the first three races uh you know they got the, the you know all, all great uh drivers from quebec finishing up there, uh, obviously with DJ, you throw DJ in the mix, but with LP and Tags up in the top mm-hmm. five um, race, uh, the defending race winner Raphael Lassard up there, um, in the Simon Dionvian completing the top ten for the for some of the Quebec drivers up there, but you throw in Brett Taylor, Gary Clute, Brandon Watts, and. Um, Trayton and was up there until he had injury. Tra- yeah, that, he hated. He really hated to see that for Trayton, and uh, you know he. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it was hard to tell on the broadcast what was happening because he was able. He was able to get out of you know his car slowed in, in turn, in uh, turn three, and he was able to get it uh, back around to the pits. But there was just a big like plume of smoke coming out. Um, they weren't too sure what that what that was all about. Um, but there was so there was a lot to unpack during this race because you know rain delayed the start. And then mm-hmm. the fans, you know, as I was saying that the that the fan aspect that big, um, you know, we, we uh, you know like with LP being, you know, on the pole, you know, thought thought you know he had a kid a couple moments too where he kind of got ruffled out to the back, you know, and he when you're in traffic at the at such a short track like this where you always turning left there's almost not a moment where you're going to straighten the wheel and when you're in traffic yeah. there's a lot of traffic to contend with and this will cause drivers to make aggressive moves and aggressive passes and uh, when you're out on the outside lane too you know uh, you you want to be in that train and um but you know with andrew ranger winning in the past too it was no doubt with that uh, little difficulty that they had at the halfway point that this or sorry at the stage uh, not the stage break that the break uh mm-hmm. there was a little bit of confusion that went on and mac uh, mac went to the pits all alone then a couple laps later the rest of the field went in except for andrew ranger and uh <laughs> so uh there was some infractions handed out to to them and on the uh they, they were the, they were going to be sent to the back so that you know you know what where do you where do you know what do you say about the uh the confusion there you know like was that a was that a confusion from and adam ross made a good point on the broadcast you know there's there's com, there's communication there's a there's a tree of communication you know it starts off from nascar down to the teams down to the drivers and at, you know maybe at some point because we we clearly saw it with all the other drivers that they they got the message maybe there's a communication error there but that communication you know error that they'll you know if that was on them they'll figure it out maybe if it wasn't on them it's out of mind out of sight you know um, for them clearly didn't mean anything because they got penalized both of them and look where they ended up right and uh that was a great like as i said it, well like as i've always just said it was a great it just it was an awesome show uh, but there was eventually at some point though I think at that point there was just a lot of a lot of cautions happened a lot of wrecks you know even with uh, Brandon Watson and Donald Teach getting each other you know uh, there was a bit of a move there uh, with Watson getting kind of the shorter end of that from uh, Donald Teach um, which you hate to see which you hate to see yeah uh, and and you know D, how about DJ Tennington getting up there fantastic run on his part. Um, you know he's showing his presence once again. You know after you know as I, as I paid tribute in our iRacing uh, mm-hmm. 
you know, I pay tribute to DJ this week on there. You got to pay tribute to the OGs, man. This guy's been around for uh, oh, <laughs> since since as far as I can remember. So yeah, you know, got a got a shout out to him too, right? And um, yeah. But when the series takes it to the Rock for the first ever visit to Newfoundland on June twenty fifth, Eastbound Eastbound Park, just outside of Saint John, uh, interesting. They're gonna have to they're gonna have to pack up into uh, a shipping in shipping crates, and they're gonna have to ship yeah. the Pinty series over to the Rock. That's gonna you know, and and I I I say it, and 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 some of them are. It's probably gonna be very difficult for them. Uh, logistically, but I say it as in, from an aspect of I, I think that's amazing. I, I think that's you know, that throws me back to when NASCAR went to Japan a little bit when they had yeah, that. Uh, yeah. So there's there's, this, there's a mini bit of that for me in this. Um, and and yeah, you know, uh, I, I, I bet it, it might be a, a hassle for some of the, the people involved. But from mm-hmm. from a, maybe from even a fans aspect, especially in Newfoundland, you know, there's they're, sh- they're shutting down, you know, they're they're basically like they're taking this very like this is going to be taken very seriously, um, you know, and I think that's another aspect of it too, where you know they're going to have like a parade with all the haulers, you know, that we see that uh, in the NASCAR series down south. Take you that's know that's cool, cool. and uh, you know as mentioned on the post show, you know, like I was chatting with Cam Harris of Stickers and Scuffs, so you know, he had met, he made a great point there about that. Is uh, you know this is this is uh, potentially a great moment for Pinty series to yeah. be able to make some presence, or yeah. you know catch an eye, or or maybe the uh, the our uh, the big show down south. You know maybe they can uh, give a little nod of the cap uh, or something. You know I, I think we gotta. Yeah. That's really cool as a Canadian. You know, that's effing awesome, eh? And for our fans yeah. out in, in New that. Brunswick. It's probably a lot closer for us. It's like feels like the other side of the world, but maybe for you guys, it's not. Hopefully, you guys get a chance to head on up to to Newfoundland. Uh, I don't know how you guys feel about that. For me, I could just be like, "Yeah, just go up to Newfoundland." That, that could be like New Jersey and New York, for all I know. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> let us know, folks. But yeah, you know, fantastic. We'll have that covered in a couple of weeks, and um, mm-hmm. and then some. I'm so. excited. Yeah, that that was great to to kick off everything on the on the Saturday there. Um, and then all this like, the quick mention to Lamar, you know, we didn't even, uh, you know, like, you know, Lamar just gets its, you know, well, it's been, it's actually been because of the pandemic, it's not been in its official time slot, which is this around this point in June, you know, the last year it ran in September, the year before that i forget when it ran so or if it did actually i don't think it did run we had two i think we had two lama in the same year anyways so it's 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 it was kind of all over and, and oh, we're coming right. in through the yeah, end I remember of that. the rule yeah. set and the beginning of a new like so we're coming to the end they just announced of gte at lama which IMSA got rid of last year so that's why it's not there anymore and we're coming into these new rule sets so next year will be the big change but you know Toyota 1 1 2 Glickenhaus on the pole which is a big that's really big for them being a private manufacturer for hypercar uh Jota 1 NP2 uh <laughs> and I can't remember Glitches. the other ones. Corvette was <laughs> leading for a while, and they had issues. They got taken out by Reese, uh in the P2. They got kind of like sideswipe and hit. But all in all, it was a good race. It was packed. It was great to see. The atmosphere was back. The excitement was back. I got to listen to some of it. You could hear it in the announcer's voice and uh, the commentators and the drivers. And this was a particularly difficult Le Mans because it was really, really hot. And there was no break on it, and they these guys were hustling stints, and they were coming out of the cars looking, looking pretty worn worn out. So that's always fantastic to see. So, good job on Toyota, four in a row. Uh, I give props to so. you know, I I'll you know I'll I always take the twenty four Daytona seriously. 
Um, so that, that's a, it's a tough. So they're two different races right? in the sense of, yeah. of how they how they operate. Like Le Mans is a three and a half minute lap, and Daytona is a minute forty five in the prototype. So you know, and Daytona is completely lit. Although there are dark patches, Le Mans is completely different dark. Beast. They go yep. through the, it, they're just so different. Totally different beasts. Yeah. And um, you know. This actually, the one exciting interview I heard was we've been talking about the new rule sets and IMSA and stuff with LMDH coming, and I posted a few things, uh, reposted a few things about Cadillac showing Cadillacs, LMDH car, uh, BMWs, LMDH car, and and what I what you could see of the Acura. I know it was pretty hidden, but I had to share it anyways. So the ne- the other level is hypercar, which is the next level up, and that's the Toyotas. So the 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 managing director of the race team was asked, "When is does Toyota have any interest in coming to race in IMSA?" And he said, "No." And he said, "What would get you interested?" And he said, "If they allow us to come race at the 24 hours of Daytona, then we'll be interested." So. Maybe we'll get to see some of those really, really cool cars racing over here. Yeah, I'm excited, you know, for that uh, 2023. You know, I was going to say, I'll be for sure Maybe watching the 2023 year. Le Mans 24. I'll be, I'll be treating that one like uh, yeah. the 24 good Daytona. One. I was, you know, that, that'll be good to see. Not not to take anything away from this year's, you know, by any means. No, but, it was a good one. It was a good yeah. one, but. But Can't you know, watch right? Yeah, but I mean, stuff. just imagine, uh, real quick, before we transition any car here as we get uh, just a little over or over a halfway point. But just just imagine, like someone out there, like they like they must be like uh, a, like a, a monster, a golem or something. Just just imagine watching racing all like just. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're just like yeah. all over. You're in That's front of it. like eight screens. I kind of try. I, I have at least two or three screens at the most, but like a bunch of screens. Just imagine like it's crazy. Not to not to right. diss the. Uh, I because honestly, I'd uh, I'd love if I, I'd love to do it. <laughs> if I could, right. if I could, right? Like I'm totally jealous. And just um, before we go to, um, <laughs> just before we go to IndyCar. I just want to point out the the points coming out of of Chaudier, Chaudier, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we, we need a Kevin poll on Lacroix, that. <laughs> Kevin Lacroix and Tag tied for the points oh, yeah. lead. It, yeah, I wanted to before Mark, we. Yeah, yeah, that's good to mention. Yeah, Mark Antoine Cameron in third, one point behind. Gary Clute in fourth, two points behind. LP in fifth. Four points behind, and Brandon yeah, Watson close and to kick it off at five points behind. The top six are separated by five points. I mean, the top seven or the top ten are separated by twenty-one points. Like, like I don't know. It's that top ten is pretty tight. Yeah, um, and I was gonna give I some predictions on high. the end of the show uh, for that. So we'll we'll do okay. some predictions there. But um, okay. we move on to IndyCar. Yeah, yeah. Cause I I don't know I don't know what yeah I don't know what to do now I don't know what to do with my hands, <laughs> um, so <clears throat> cool it's cool the Wonder though. Bread, the Wonder Bread Chevy was excellent today. <laughs> it was so fast. <laughs> you know I just want to say the car little... was good and you know. Car was good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought he negative. says I was all right, Spider. <laughs> <clears throat> it's oh, safe to say Joseph anyway. Newgarden, uh, though, you know, after Will and Million Bucks, it's pretty good. Oof. He, I, I, what, he won a million bucks, 500000 for him, that he gets to split with the team. And 500, you get to charity. give it to a charity. You feel good? Yeah. It's like, I have some money, and I uh, also donated charity today. How's it going? Helped out. <clears throat> so we should say, but it was we should uh, say what the serious, fun children's network. The uh, in Nashville, the wags and walks. So mm. you know to be able to help out uh, there. That, hey, racing and for a good cause. Mm-hmm. And in and in the that was a good show at Road America, uh, the Indy Car. I Man, think it just it keeps getting better. Show. Just the series just oh. keeps getting better. 
this between this and IMSA, uh, it, it, this was just it was it was great. We had everything really. We had we had crazy off tracks with guys saving it, and Simon Pagano going off at the kink, and almost. I, I don't know how I don't know how he didn't hit the barrier, and then you had Roman Grosjean saving it going down that back straightaway there. Yeah, it got risky a couple times, and off. there was a wreck in the Indy Lights that some guy like went airborne. Really, I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah, and it was down there. So that's it, a tough corner because it's all the way downhill, right? That's pretty much right. Kind of get to the cheese bridge, and it's all the way downhill, and then it gets steep down to the braking zone. So. But yeah, they, you saw veteran. You saw veterans lose their cool. Yeah, they got Will touchy Power. there. <laughs> um, you saw some incredibly hard racing by some really talented drivers. Man, like this was a Marcus Erickson. Yeah, Indy Five Hundred champ. You know, putting that comes out, finishes second, yeah. out of nowhere. You know that last caution definitely helped him. So, but that's great to see Roman, Roman in uh, in fourth, and Colton Herta in fifth. If they didn't have the caution, he would have probably been on the podium. But that's unfortunate. And yeah. Um, what about your boy? Let's talk about your boy. How did he finish? <laughs> I don't even want to. He finished in. Yeah, I, that's the thing. I don't even. That's the thing. I, like, like uh, I don't think he's doing good, and I, if I can't even find out. Um, about uh, if I don't even know where he finished, that's not good. You know, and I wonder, <laughs> and and I don't, I'm not, I don't want to flag on the guy because he's not. I, that's not what I. I just want to know what's going on. Like why? He's a really good driver, and and I just he's about a year and a half into this. Plus age. his prototype driver. I hate to say it's age. Yeah, is it? Yeah, I guess. He doesn't want to push it. He's got two. He's got two kids watching. Are you kidding me? Nah, you can't say that because look at him at that indie. He almost, he almost <clears throat> had a big one. He didn't qualify. Mm, he he, he can't push it like how he used to twenty years ago, fifteen, I don't know. 10, 15 I just, years ago. I feel bad for him because I, I don't hate want saying him. it, you know. <clears throat> <clears throat> and and it makes me yeah, it makes me tear up, folks. So it's hard to talk. Just getting choked up. No, but yeah, it's like North Korea propaganda. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> we can't. Yeah, no, I don't know, man. He, I, I, you so know, fortunate. I like I like his prototype. You know, he needs to keep doing some racing, like that. I'm fine with that. I think I would rather see him full time in IMSA, running the prototype than doing those 10 races well, or actually for him it'd be eight touching and, back on and, Lamar for 2023 maybe he hops in the the cup car yeah no ah uh, maybe they give him on uh what do they call it legally when they get kind of give so like they did it with junior this season when NBC kind of there's a term legal term for it um they basically they kind of just like let them <laughs> let them use them. I'm I'm sure uh, that'll be okay. Oh, I don't think there'd be any issue with him. He'd have to do the rookie test uh, or the testing day. Whoever drives that car, if they've never raced at Le Mans, will have to do the test day, which is the Sunday before. Um, even though the Cup car is technically not racing anybody. Right, it's yeah, just doing still, its own thing. Yeah. Um But hey, you know, there's there's potential down the road for, for Jimmy still. He's not he's not out of it by any means. To be completely honest with you. Maybe maybe he should have raced at Sonoma this past weekend. <laughs> I don't after after Okay, so what happened in turn one here wasn't his fault it was but it wasn't he what happened was they got checked up tatiana calderon checked up and moved over as he was kind of coming in to occupy the space and she, and she put him off the track it's a racing incident but i mean he's starting at the back you know uh 
But what do you think he, you know, let's say he raced at Sonoma this past weekend in the trucks or the cup. Uh, you know, I think he would have done a lot better than, <laughs> I think he would have been a lot better than he did in the Indy car, especially at Sonoma. I don't, I don't think Jimmy wants well, anything to do with the I don't car. know. I don't know how would he, how would cool. he be adapted to the new car? Not well. If, let's say if he was already accustomed to it, not not out of the blue. Um, but yeah, he. I want to. I want to see him do better. I just want. Yeah. To see him do, I want him to do better. So, um, before Sorry, we, we yeah, a bit of a yeah, let's get on to the uh, Cup Series here, uh, and, and quickly, the truck too at Sonoma. Like, I, well, because you know, like you know, we got to give the uh, the NASCAR love here. Um, yeah, the trucks. Was a Cabo show. Cabo show. No, uh, <laughs> it, show? Was no it was good. It was good to see Carson Hasavar try to do some. Put it on the pole. It's first cool. pole in the first pole in truck series. It seems like road courses are he like gave if it you're a shot. first time. If you're looking to be a first time winner or a first time of something, you need to do it at a road course. Because you had Trockhouse get foot. the first win. You had Ross Chastain get his first win. You had Daniel Suarez get his oh, first for win. And you've oh, had... I was talking about the trucks. No, no, no. I'm just saying yeah, if yeah. you need a first of something, do it in the truck series. And now you had Co- oh, Carson yeah, Hope from okay, yeah, His yeah. first pole for the truck series was at a road course. So time adjusting. With the with screwed up foot. Win. Yeah. Man, just Probably imagine right. the pain he had to go through for that. But Daniel Suarez, though, and I think that's the key. This is like the butterfly effect of it because, in a sense, I think Daniel needed that because he was on standby and he was able to hop in um, for Carson. And we saw between mm-hmm. Kyle Busch and Ross Chastain, they had some time uh, to race in the trucks, and it was it was a race, you know, a, a lot between really just them. You saw a couple of their guys in the trucks get up there too. Um, yeah, you saw Ty Time Majeski won the first day. Right, Dane Smith was pushing pretty hard. You had Tyler Shannon Ancrum. Smith. Yeah, you had some you had some guys that were looking real good. But obviously, uh, you know, with Kyle with that time, he had he had a you know his truck. He said he loves the truck on. On Saturday, but on Friday he was not loving the truck so much or the car so much. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it was not uh, not looking good for him on <laughs> on the weekend. Harrison Burton ran in that truck race too. I didn't realize that. That could help explain why he had such a good run in the Cup Series. What did he finish? But yeah, Daniel, Daniel Suarez. Coming just through like at the end of that I race, have, it was. I know. Pretty cool Keeping to see him punch the, the taco. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. It was a pit, uh, you know. I guess it's cool that Ross has his watermelon, and then it's cool that Daniel Suarez can have his have his thing. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to see yeah, more of a, the. So I have a feeling about that. The I had a real feeling. I had a real. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it on the podcast, and and it, it just you don't want to jinx it. You don't want to jinx no, it. No, I just hope that because Ross it. did the watermelon, and now he Suarez did the pinata. I hope everybody doesn't feel like they need to have this new gimmick uh, oh, when they yeah. win a race. No, no, no. Yeah, but like uh, I don't want some guy out there being like Edwards yeah, had I his backflip. Yeah, I throw, I'll throw, I'll bat an apple. <laughs> Look at me. Yeah, yeah. Edwards so, had his backflip. You know. Kaibu bows. So, um, yeah, well, he or he used to do the skittles, or like let's say like a Bubba wins again, he'll do a he'll do like a big he'll he'll probably yeah, eat we're some not gonna move. I don't or, think we have to worry about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but hey, hey, he he, 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 and, he does the he had a couple moments lap. too at uh, he had a couple moments too at Sonoma, but. You know, Bubba, Larson Bubba and Elliot. It, it was Bubba looking. Didn't make it twelve laps uh, in the cup race. So he was race, but he, for a guy that is he good, well, yeah, he ended up laps. burning out at the uh, his car. Something was spitting out of his car um, down in five, uh, between five and seven, I believe. But yeah, so mm-hmm. 
uh, the you know the new car and and the better layout was good for Chase and was good for um, Larson and it was a good rebound for the most part. Until, it was good until Larson lost his wheel. <laughs> well, it was so so yeah you know it, uh, Chase had a Chase ended up getting a pit box infraction uh, in, during the uh, stage one at the end of the second stage. Oh yeah, because he lost a wheel and then, too. That's right. yeah, right. And then and so it, it was looking good for them, and then it all fell apart. Just so you know, um, Logano ended up being able to get the stage two. Is a good chance for drivers to be able to work on different. You know, if guys need points, um, you know, you could work on different pit strategies to get different. Whoa! You know, you could go no- for race wins. You could go for stage points, especially. And in there's the some days. interesting guys who got some stage points. McDowell up there. Um, Josh Balicki got stage points in stage one. Cody Ware got stage points in stage one. Because you might need those when it comes down to two points in the ten races that are left. Big money. And down then there. you never know. You have a good few races for one of those guys, and Bumped yeah, Suarez some big money. Yeah, so, uh, but hey, you know, it all comes down to Suarez becoming the fifth non-American. Uh, Born mm-hmm. driver in NASCAR Cup, his win was well received around the sport. Uh, a lot of the oh, drivers gave him some some props all over it. the media, social media. Um, it was good to see him finally get. He's now obviously you know the, his first elusive Cup win, and uh, you know his track house has shown that they're able to, you know, they deserve to be in victory lane. Yeah the the team has really come out and put their mark in the season saying you know we're here we're we're a serious contender and what's crazy about this is that 2311 is less successful than track house and in my opinion shouldn't be and I think that's part There's of There's still Denny 10 Hamlin. races to Yeah, go but I think that's part of the issue Denny has playoffs. with with Ross and I think that's what maybe. some of, I think that's what some of the issues it may, are. But maybe it seems Ross, that way. Is that he's coming out beating the, these are the underdog. I'm just super impressed. I love Justin Marks. I've been a big fan of his sports car racing. He's a twenty. He's a twenty-four hours of Daytona winner, and um, good for them to get that. Uh, but to, that's they've, awesome. They've established themselves on the road courses, and um, once Suarez, I'm sure once Suarez gets an oval, his amigos will uh, be real happy about that. When do you he, think uh, he? Where do you think he'll win on an oval? I'll have to look at his stats. Uh, I'm not sure where, where he's good at. You know, it would end up being a probably, I would say, super speedway. <laughs> really? Because anyone I honestly, can win a super speedway race, right? So. I think he's going to win at New Hampshire. I think his first oval comes at New Hampshire because I just feel like he's going to That's coming be up really soon. Within the next couple flat. months, I think. Yeah, so. But, anyway. hey, um, for the, uh, well, it's, you know, our, we always got to talk about our NASCAR fantasy uh, pool. And I don't want it because I forgot, and I don't forget that, and I forgot. NASCAR needs to let you do it right after the race is done or when when they check it. I don't even think I can even pick it right now for the next week. NASCAR's uh, website, people, not NASCAR, like the, the company. NASCAR needs to do this and that. So for week 16... For week sixteen, I uh, ended up picking the same guys as last week. I have two uses of Chase left. That's great. Michael McDowell might have got me some points though. That's great. But hey, let's look at the uh, yeah Slick Seth coming in with the hundred eighty points, tied with Michael Walls Racing. Now you guys tied this week. Yours truly one sixty, um, and then yours truly. This is DJJ. That's not the name. Yours truly. That's me. Uh, number four and uh, fourth, Ty Parker mm-hmm. with 125 and Dirty Joe and 114. And then Pepe doesn't care at 91. And neither does Eggman at 30. But hey, if you want to join it, join it. Um, 
because hey, I think it's still there's still it's still pretty close between a few of us in the overall standings, and one of us is is gonna be. We're gonna go prize. all the way. I'm not gonna miss another one. Yeah, I, I, I'm done. I'm done missing. Overall league standings, though, you're still up top, so you're good with Slick Seth kind of coming up. He's coming, he's sneaking up. Dirty Joe also, too. Um, those Dirty Joe and Slick Seth real close with uh, 2,555 and 2,554. And Ty Parker sneaking up there, too. Don't count him out, 2,517 points. Uh, um, Sneaky so Ty. It's good. And uh, we're, we're going to obviously cover... Uh, uh, there, there's an off break. There's Nashville, and um, going to Nashville Speed Super Speedway <laughs> in uh, two weeks when NBC takes over. So Kenny oh, Tell Jr. comes back. But yeah, you know, uh, who won last year? Do you remember? I forget. Nashville. Yeah. Truex. Seems like a Truex thing. Kyle Larson won in June oh. of 2021. Uh, I should have I should have known that. Oh, you're not a Kyle Larson fan. You suck. So I was gonna go a three peat winner, uh, but it's a different car. So you know how how do you know? <laughs> but Kyle Busch won the Xfinity race too, though. So but he's not re- he's not running any more extra races. But um, but uh, I'll go uh, with him. I could say Mark Truex Jr. Truex Jr. Yeah, you know he needs he needs he's have had some bad luck. He needs a moment, a good moment. He needs his moment in time. Um, but yeah, we'll fall, join our NASCAR fantasy uh, page, fantasygames.nascar.com. Look up the Wide World of Motorsports and the leagues. You want to do predictions. check out our Facebook too. But yeah, of course, yeah. Um, and then next thing you know, also in two weeks, a bit of an off week next week. So and also in two weeks when the the Pinties comes back to, um, you know, uh, I think, I think, you know, you can for the NASCAR Pinty series for the predictions for when they go to Newfoundland at Eastbound park. I think that it's easy to go to those results at similar shorter tracks, you know, Rafi Lassard, Andrew Ranger, Kevin Lacroix, you know, guys that have momentum already this season, like DJ Kennington. So those are just some names that I could pick, but I, you know, Trayton's gonna need a. He's gonna need something. He's gonna have to. He's he's gonna have his moment. This might be his time to say, "Hey, I'm gonna win where we haven't won before." Yeah, uh, he probably. He was quick. Like he's he's always quick. Realistically, I think he might have been a good a good chance to be to be uh, up front podium. Maybe win the race. <laughs> Uh, this past weekend being you know so quick in practice and whatnot i'm leaning towards you know i think mac is is really hounding for the front and uh be another i think mac's probably uh, another showing from him for the winner we'll see maybe he'll keep just dominating we'll see you know we're not a lot of races, unfortunately, for the season, but uh, laugh, it no doesn't one. seem like it. But at the same time, there seems like there's lots of time. Um, but there, there isn't at all the while. So as each race goes on, it does, it does show a lot. Um, it, yeah, it shows lots. But hey, uh, we, we we'll, we always, we, we always got it on the wide world of more sports as much as we can. We're not that guy that is. Uh, unfortunately, we can't just be like. Like a, in like just a a, a line, which we call it line of Mountain Dew, and to like just mm. some unfortunate and whatever. Like we can't, yeah, Mountain we can't Dew. just have like you know pizza pockets fed to us, like and just sit and I watch racing. Mountain just Mountain that's Mountain. it, right? Pizza pocket brand sponsor Pil- Pillsbury hit us up. No, um, but yeah, unfortunately we, we can't, can't do it. But we we you know we cover the most that we can in the wide world of more swords. It's like to. hey. I'm trying to sell people. Listen to the wide world of Morosaurus. We got it all. You know what? But we try. <laughs> we try our best. No. Congratulations, um, Mac Verstappen, on winning the Baku Grand Prix. Oh, he forgets about F1. Right. Yikes. Nice wide world of motorsports. 
at the WWOMS on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. On the Soch. That's where you can get it. It just out. proves that we pay attention to everything. We just don't have we time try. to talk about everything. Yeah, we, we try our best. <laughs> and UK, you know what? Um, yeah, we're, we're all over on this. Canada. Canada's next for Formula One. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have lots of fun covering that, and and then some. You know, all over our uh, on our website too. Warrior Wallace mm-hmm. loves it at the Wide World of Motorsports Podcast dot WordPress dot com, um, where everything's there. Our esports stuff, past episodes, future episodes, and our blog with some good writing, some good toilet read, Wallace. Great toilet read. It's Almost fantastic. as good as Archie. It's, it's pretty good. It's the, this old, like, grody Archie comics in the bathroom. Like, it's from, like, the 80s. I remember Joke those two. Like, what is this doing here? It's like, it already it. is old. Was, and it was an I'm old going thing. To buy some. I'm going to go buy Reader's some Digest. Archie. Yeah. Uh, um, but, uh, yeah, it, just so just, just do that I with like the Womps. Video. And then if you want to be on our show, you want to sponsor us, but... Or, uh, you know, uh, instead of us talking about how long our URL is, hit us up at uh, Wide World of Motorsports at gmail.com or just on our Facebook, as I said. Um, we're episodes on the uh, all sorts of streaming platforms. It's all over. All like it's a of rash of a rash of podcasts. You can get us everywhere. Um, oh. So, and also on the good old FM dial, it's how you perceive it, Wallace, it's how you perceive it. Also on the FM dial, CKMS 102.7 Radio Waterloo, uh, monthly on the Waterloo Region podcast dial. Thank you. And then Wallace's favorite, uh, Wallace is, Wallace, oh yeah, Boys and I, yeah, uh, for the theme song. Intro. Intro and outro. Love it. And outro. And, outro. and, uh, and of outro. course, uh, you know, CFMH 107.3, local FM, Saturdays at 1, and Performance Motorsports Network on your smart device. Just open up your smart device, say Performance Motorsports Network. It's on. Check it out. Um, and, and yeah, um, yeah, it's going to be uh, a, about a quote-unquote off week for a couple series coming up. So um, nice to have that again. Break. Yeah, nice to have that again. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, see you around the bend, folks. Bend, folks. Bend, folks. Bend, folks.